and I did something for the first time ever with Proprietor Lifestyle. Welcome entrepreneurs and welcome back proprietors. You are now tuned in to the 31st episode of Proprietor Chronicles. So today was an absolutely fantastic day. Carmelo Anthony and the Oklahoma City Thunder are going to part ways. And I've talked on Proprietor Chronicles about how I did not like Carmelo in OKC playing with Westbrook. And I talk about it a bunch on my Twitter at Steve Sack. I just talk a lot of basketball on there. And one of the teams that there is a possibility of him going to and that I hope that he goes to is the Houston Rockets. I've been wanting him to play with Chris Paul since 2011 when Chris Paul requested a trade to come to the New York Knicks with Carmelo. So everything is lining up. This is the perfect storm. They just lost their starting small forward Trevor Ariza and it's looking like Houston Rockets is a very, very, very possible destination for the Mellow Man. But other than that, it's Friday, and I still have a bunch of things to do. Um, got caught up with a bunch of things over the past three weeks, so it was nice to just finally not have anything to do yesterday and just catch my breath um, after 4th of July and just a whole bunch of other things. So caught my breath yesterday. Today, the big Mellow news came out, and... Spent some time on that, went on Twitter, went on Periscope, did all that shit, and now it's time to get down to work. What up, proprietors? I am, like, so out of it this past week, or actually two, three weeks, like I've been talking about, has just been so fucking much on me, and I did something for the first time ever with Proprietor Lifestyle. I forgot to post and I literally was just unorganized. I always do a picture, like a New York City picture, vacation picture, architecture picture, fashion picture, one day. And then the next post is always like a video, a quote, or something like that. And I'm pretty sure for the first time ever, I just put two pictures up in a row, like without a quote or without a video or anything. And I realized it and I was like, Wow, like, I don't know what the fuck has been going on with me, but just so unorganized, so confused. Um, I just wanted to let you guys know that because it shocked me. Like, I was like, really? Did I really just do that? I posted two pictures in a row without posting a quote or a video. So it's been a rough three weeks and uh, I'm going to... Go ahead and assume that this is the end of it and that I'm going to get back on track. So let me go make this quote, post it up on Instagram right now, and then schedule this picture for later because now I have the vlog tomorrow morning going up. So I'm going to have to post twice in about five, six hours. So I'm just sitting here thinking about self-awareness and how I really made it a staple in my life and a priority to think about self-awareness and to practice self-awareness because... In the end, I want financial freedom. That's my ultimate goal. So all of my actions and thoughts should be focused on that. And I should be self-aware enough to always be thinking about it and always be doing what's necessary to get there. And with this whole thing I've been going through with the whole self-discipline problem, I fixed that or I'm on my way to fixing it with this new book that I got. And just having the self-awareness to say, shit, I'm really not getting this done. Let me go buy a book to help me out is everything that's what's going to get me to the end and i think it's so important for everybody to think that way just all the time how are you thinking are your actions matching up with what your end goal is i see people who want to become multi-millionaires but then they're going out every single night and drinking i see people who just want to relax and take it easy but they work all the time it's just about having that self-awareness to think is this action is this thought going to help me in the end and i just can't stress enough because People make so many mistakes by just thinking about stupid shit or doing stupid shit or caring about stupid shit when it won't affect them in the end. And then vice versa, they don't care about shit that will help them in the end. So it just doesn't make sense. And I'm just really kind of happy with my self-awareness and how I'm always thinking about 
different things and how it's going to affect me in the end. But at the same time, not thinking too much into it because then I'm just wasting time. You either think a little bit about it, understand what's going on, decide on something and move forward, or you can think about it forever and just be stuck in the clouds and not do anything about it at all. So it's really those two options. You just think a little bit about it and do it, or you think too much about it and you don't do it at all. So really important self-awareness. I am really proud of myself. I think it's one of the top characteristics everybody should have if they want to truly become happy, if they want to live their own proprietor lifestyle and just really happy with my self-awareness lately. So that'll do it for this episode of Proprietor Chronicles. I'm going to try to shorten the outro a little bit because I feel like it gets a little repetitive week after week. So go check us out on social media. All the links are in the description. Subscribe to us on YouTube and like this video if you liked it. So I'll see you guys next week.